Hey guys, what's up? New Autocube here. Before I begin this video, I just want to warn everybody, please, 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 I can't heavily emphasize enough, do not try this firmware upgrade at home. It will completely brick your Elgato HD60S, as I'm going to be showing in this video um, as it happened to me. So, just want to give you guys a fair warning. Uh, so, yeah, hope you enjoy my video, and I'll see you guys later. Hi everybody, what's up? It's New Water Cube here. So today in this video, it's kind of unfortunate because I'm gonna be talking about how I bricked my Elgato HD6ES, which I just bought like a month and a half ago. So the other day, um, I was having issues when I loaded my Elgato HD60 up on my PC to record gameplay. I usually use uh, OBS and um, that's how like I record games and stuff. I don't use the Elgato software, but anyways, the audio wasn't coming through to, um, through my headphones, which I have it or set up to monitor an output in the settings. So typically the, the audio from the PS5, which I'm recording from, um, goes through my headphones and, um, well, it goes through my computer, through my headphones and, uh, it wasn't doing that. So, I did some troubleshooting, I did some, like, resetting the Elgato by uh, reinstalling the drivers, reinstalling the Game Capture HD software, and it didn't work. So, I did some, like, research on YouTube, and I found some video about a guy, like, talking about, um, by the way, this is not his fault whatsoever, but basically he, uh, showed, like, a secret menu inside the Game Capture HD software that you can upgrade the firmware of your Elgato HD60S. So I went ahead and tried that and it created a major problem for me. Basically my entire Elgato HD60S became unusable. It's completely bricked. As you guys will see here when I go to or load it up into the Game Capture HD software, what you'll see is it'll say initializing under the Elgato HD60S and in the mint or in like the big screen like where it shows the the gameplay it shows one moment please and it will stay there and it will not change for all eternity so I tried calling th um, Elgato or yeah I tried calling Elgato about it and asking for their help on it we did all the troubleshooting steps First off, I didn't know or what I did. Um, there's actually not much like talked about this um, secret firmware upgrade online. Like, there's a couple like Reddits online, which warn like not to do this. But eventually, I stumbled upon the Elgato website's uh, page talking about this uh, or firmware upgrade, and basically they're telling people do not upgrade the Elgato firmware. And that's when it hit me that, wait a minute, I did this earlier. So basically, whatever I do, whatever troubleshooting steps I do will not fix this Elgato. The only way to fix it, basically, is to send it into the company, which they'll dis or send me back a new Elgato HD60S. So I use my Elgato HD60S mostly to record gameplay videos so I can do reviews for my channel and stuff. So... I don't have an Elgato HD60S. It's completely useless. I had some uh, grant money come in and I was able to afford another Elgato HD60S. So uh, until I get this repaired, it's going to take them probably a couple weeks. They have to go through the whole process. Um, it's been really slow with the Elgato support. Um, so I'm hoping to get it fixed really soon here, but... This is really unfortunate. I feel like Elgato should make it a little bit more clear, like maybe in like an, an instruction manual that comes like with the Elgato HD60S to not upgrade the firmware of the Elgato um, from the software because it will completely ruin it. Basically, what I think what happened is, is when I did the firmware upgrade, it did like kind of like a factory like reset on the device before they installed their own like they like, I guess, like flash or something onto the motherboard inside of this. 
So I think that's what it did, and it basically made it completely unusable. So whatever you do, do not use this uh, upgrade firmware option inside the Game Capture HD software. It will completely break your device. And it's probably going to take a couple weeks before I get a new El Elgato back. Um, but once I get my Elgato return, I'm probably going to sell it and put the money back in the savings. But uh, it's just really un unfortunate that this had to happen like a month and a half in into my ownership of this device. What really sucks is I bought it from Best Buy, not to bash Best Buy or anything, but they only had like a 14 day return policy. And there is no, like, warranty you can buy for this device. Like, when I went to go and buy my new Elgato H60S, um, I asked if I can get, like, a, a warranty on it, and they won't do it. So, that's really unfortunate. So, anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, just want to er, warn you, please, please, please do not press this upgrade firmware option. Um, by the way, I meant to say you can access this by holding down control when you go into the like when you click on the your settings gear icon um and that will or load up the advanced tab so that's how you access it if for whatever reason you're curious like how um i did this but uh yeah so next time when this happens i'm probably just gonna end up uh doing like a full like reboot of the elgato hc60s like completely unplugging all the cords uninstalling the driver of the software and reinstalling it like literally when I got my new Elgato HE60S it took me like an hour and a half just to get it all or set up it was a pain um but eventually I got back to where it was I have it actually up here in my desk setup but uh yeah so um thankfully I was able to I was able to afford another Elgato for right now because if I wasn't then I'd be going probably like three weeks without even being able to record content for you guys. So anyways, um, if you guys haven't already, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. I actually have a PS5 unboxing video that I did, and I also did a review on Persona 5 Strikers. I actually have a uh, review coming out for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and I also have a review coming out for Near Replicant version 1.22 i'm not going to say the whole number but basically version 1.5 that's the or square root of it um but uh i'm currently playing through that game right now it's amazing um so i actually haven't been able to edit my xenoblade chronicles definitive edition review it's in the works i've been or working on it i'm really excited to or get it out for you guys um also once i finish both of those i will be doing uh or xenoblade chronicles 2 hopefully um, that's basically next on my backlog of games before we get some bigger titles like Skyward Sword HD. I'm really excited for that. So yeah, I hope to see you guys later and keep gaming.